welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're reviewing a filament today, we're reviewing the Azure Film Glow in the Dark PLA and uh, my kids were so happy. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about this collaboration I have ongoing with this really good friend of mine, Giuseppe. He has um, an Instagram page, it's called 3D Print All. You will find all the links in the description. He talks about 3D printing, he talks about filament, he reviews printers, he talks about application of electronics to 3D prints. It's a great place to go and get some ideas on what you can print and get creative with it. All the links will be down in the description. Go pay Giuseppe a visit, he deserves it. Now, the one of you who follow me on the channel know that I love this filament. Azure Film is a company based in Zazana, totally European, very close to the Italian border. Their spool are really rolled in a fantastic way. It's a really, really professional spool. The unboxing experience, as usual, is amazing. And this PLA spool was something incredible. I don't know if you can see it up here. It's a great filament and what's particular of this PLA is that it glows in the dark and my kids love it and uh, all the prints that I've done, let's say 90% of the prints I've done are for them. If you're interested in buying Gazer Film filaments, you will find all the links in the description. If you follow the link, you can use the code Alessandro10 to have an extra 10% discount on all your purchases. So what did they print with this filament? Of course, you know, I printed out a Calicat. This Calicat actually turned out really, really good. As you can see, there's no stringing. I haven't cut anything. And it really holds on quite fine. This goes straight into my collections of Calicats. Then I wanted to try something that I usually try and that's a filament astronaut from Mata Hacker 150% scale it's quite heavy but I really wanted to print out this this is amazing when it glows in the dark I'm sure you've seen it probably in the thumbnail I love this model. This model tells you a lot about the filament. It tells you how it handles uh, cooling and uh, how perfectly tuned your slicer and your printer are. Then I printed out another tabletop in vase mode and it's this rocket. It's completely empty in the middle, in the inside no infill printed at 0 0.8 with extrusion as usual with all my base modes. It gives some stif stiffness and it works really, really good. It's nice and hard and kids haven't broken this yet. Then I decided to do an experiment. I wanted to print out the base of this, pla of this uh, I don't know what you call it, nuclear risk. So I printed out this in um, in this uh, glow-in-the-dark PLA and then switched to black PLA and had this beautiful effect and when it glows in the dark it's amazing that you can see this through the glow when I was testing this uh, filament all the, the kids were all over me Papa print something to for my room print some stars something that we can glue on the wall stick on the wall and it will glow in the dark and my kids are crazy with halloween they love halloween so what i did was i printed out this ghost and they actually love this i'm gonna put it on their wall and they're gonna like this this is gonna glow in the dark it's fun even though it's not halloween yet 
Then what I remembered when I was a kid, I had stars, sticky stars all over my roof and I loved it because I was falling asleep and looking at all those stars. So I found these models on, uh, on Thingiverse and I print them all out. Even if they're rough, when they glow in the dark, you don't see the roughness, you just see them glow. And I print a lot of them. I print moons, uh, like, you know, stars, uh, smiling and, and sad moon. And, uh, and they look, they really look amazing. And they're gonna look really, really good on, on my kid's roof. I really didn't want to use this filament for useful stuff because it's like pretty nice and it's great for you know tabletops and stuff that you have to showcase. I always print this box. I usually keep all the stuff, all the prints I've done with that material inside this box. I like to keep track of all my prints but I wanted to print some something useful and I printed out this small, you know, vase, vase mode again, to hold my little small spatulas and keep here close to my, to my working area. And it turned out pretty, pretty good. There were no particular settings printing this. I just got the temperature right at 210. And what I did and what I suggest is to print with a raft, small raft on the base. What I've noticed is that when you go high on prints, especially on the filament, that had a good raft, so it anchored. But when printing the first Calicat, it detached from the base. So I decided to put a raft on any print I did with the glow in the dark PLA. That's the only thing I had to take care of. For the rest, it prints regularly like a normal PLA. So long story short, Azure Film, as usual, is a warranty of quality. Their PLA, their PTG, their TPU, I haven't found a product that falls somewhere and that I wasn't satisfied. And I don't say that because I get filament for free. I bought the first Azure Film filament and it was love at first sight. I really like it. It prints out it makes the experience of printing very, very easy. I mean, the failed prints I've done uh, that I had are really, really few. And when you see this Mother Hacker filament astronaut printed out so smooth and so perfectly done, it gives you satisfaction on what you do and uh, it pays you back of the hard work that I'm doing of reviewing this filament. It's too easy to review this kind of filaments. I mean, it makes my job very, very easy. Would I suggest this filament? Of course I would suggest this filament. It's a particular filament. I mean, you buy this for a specific use. It's fun when Halloween will come. I kept more than half of this pool. I'm gonna store it. Uh, I'm gonna try to vacuum it and keep it as, uh, you know, away from steam as possible because when Halloween will come, I will have the house full of printed out stuff that glows in the dark and that's an amazing experience for me and for the kids. That was all for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you did, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video.